I've got my water. I've got my snacks. I've given an updated will to my mum. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready to lose the next 10 years of my life getting lost in this game. G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joel Woodle, and welcome to Nightingale, one of the most hotly anticipated survival crafting games that I can ever remember. So of course, as soon as I was able to get access to this, of course I was going to dive straight into it. A massive thank you to Inflection Games, by the way, for giving me early access so I could film some videos, get some content out, and just basically lose what's left of my mind by playing this non-stop to see what all the fuss is about i'm coming into this i've done like i've just done the tutorial part i like, learned the game the gear that i have just comes from the tutorial and this is the start of my realm there's a pirate ship over there as well but already i mean look at it look at it look how gorgeous it is already off to a flyer i'm already smiling so the idea behind nightingale i mean there's so many ideas behind nightingale and so many different genres all tied into one which is why i think i'm so excited about it but basically instead of having just like one continuous world there are portals to go between different realms different places different things with different animals and different biomes and all sorts of stuff that's all procedurally assembled like it's like it's all like kind of like predetermined stuff like there's like what's going to be in what realm and what's going to be in like what biome but then when you go somewhere it randomly mashes all that together and creates something completely new and completely unique so you're never going to run out of stuff to do so i am keen as a bean chomping at the reed like a hungry saxophone player ready to get into it and get involved but the first thing i need to do is find a place to build my base and i like views and the world look at that the world is gorgeous so i reckon somewhere up here is going to be the go right into it right off the bat uh oh uh oh, yep, speaking of right off the bat. Alright, we're already straight into combat with a big ice wolf. Look at you all, look at you prowling. Can we be friends? I have I have some steak. Hang on, hang on, I do have some steak on me. Do you, can I give you this? Here, drop. Do you, do you want that? Do you want that? No, I didn't want that! I can't tame you! Go and gnaw whatever it is that I killed before and took its uh, meat with me. Oh, I thought he was going to. I really thought he was going to. He sniffed it. I thought for a moment I could tame the puppy, but instead I have to make friends through violence. Oh God, there's more. Oh, there's plenty more. Okay, this is gonna be bad. This is not off to a good start. I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna try and keep my health up. I've used my one last healing balm that I had, so I'm in all sorts of trouble now. Yeah, like you have to make all that stuff as part of the tutorial so oh i'm not doing oh, i was a long way down i dodged off a cliff that's not particularly great for my ankles i already broke my legs in the tutorial somehow which was not especially clever of me but now i gotta try and i was gonna try and stay alive i can't lose the game immediately before i even have somewhere to put up my, my feet i need to take my slippers off first this might be easier in first person actually because going third person was never really my jam uh oh not down the cliff again oh not down the cliff again i'm gonna die i'm gonna die i'm gonna die i need to use my healing potion get that into you nice and fast please i'm in trouble <laughs> three Three giant direwolves right off the bat was probably a little bit ambitious. Wasn't really what I had in mind for this morning. Would like some breakfast first, but whatever's going to work is going to work. He's got a bee's doodle of health left over. Come here. Come here. Gone. Good. Oh, it's just me and you left. Me and you. Me and you. What is that? I've only just got into the game and you're sending that after me? Great, there's a ghost moose. As if a moose wasn't a problem enough, now we're gonna find a deity. <laughs> so welcome to Nightingale, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Gotta make sure I find what's left of the walls. Waste not, what not, and all that. Half some up with my knife. Grab some extra steaks out of you. Some bones, some pelts, and all sorts of things. Okay, <laughs> can, can I get back to my quest of trying to find somewhere to live? I don't wanna go down to the valley anymore. I never know... Oh, there's a lot of things here. Oh, someone cut down a tree. It must have been the ghost moose. I don't know where the ghost moose has gone, but it ran off over here somewhere. There's some regular deer. There's some waterfalls. There's a valley. I mean, look, look. It, it may be kicking off immediately and getting way too hectic, way too quick, but it's hard not to love it when you can turn around and look at that. Speaking of, actually, this is a nice little flat place. I've got... It comes with its own statue of... A crying angel. You know what? 
I feel like you're on my level. I can relate to that on a personal, very philosophical level. I really shouldn't be brave about this stuff, but there's something glowing over here. That's more logs. All right, so when it's like, it's like the white wispy things, I guess that's just kind of like a little beacon of where, where you can go and pick stuff up. I really wasn't expecting it to get so busy so quick. I thought I'd have some time to find my feet and figure out what to do with my life, but nah, turns out straight out of the frying pan into the fire. Uh, I need to build an estate claim. Or a estate can, rather. Here we go. Estate. You, I need rocks and a stone block. I'll place the blueprint for you somewhere. Like, I want to build around this thing because it looks sick, but it's also taking up a lot of the space. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what really to do with this, nor how big the estate can can go. What if I chuck you up here? And if I have to build on this little plateau, then so be it. At least I have that in my front yard. It's not going to spoil the view at all. So you need five stone blocks and 20 rocks. I do have a pickaxe on me and lots of boulder looking things around the joint. So take some pebbles, take some sticks, and <laughs> if I can take down the walls, I can take down a pebble as well. I'll take all of you. I'm a little bit cucumber, but that's okay. Chuck all that into you. Nice, guys. Need two more stone blocks and a bunch more rocks. All right. It'll take a little bit of time, but I got you. So this is interesting. This needs, what, a level 40 pickaxe? I have a level six. Okay, I should say that I haven't like played any Nightingale at all. I've been deliberately avoiding like going to any of like the stress tests or any of the stuff that the devs were doing ahead of time because I wanted to. When I finally got the chance to play it, I wanted to be fresh and unique and straight out of the box, straight off the bat, fantastic. And I'm glad that I did because it's really gotten rowdy uh, very quickly. But yeah, so I don't have any prior prior knowledge of any of this stuff. You just kind of got shut out of the mountainside there. Essence dust. Oh, is that the same stuff? Okay, so like if I go through here, this is my old jacket, by the way, which I can equip and get rid of my sweet little capey thing that I made for myself. I'm going to put that back onto my noggin. There you are, looking dapper. But if I scrap something, like, oh, uh, what, what do I want to scrap? I've got a, a couple of things that I might need. Like you, actually. So a stone block, I can extract essence dust out of stuff. No idea what essence dust is for, but that's something that I can do. Maybe that'll come in handy later. <laughs> Maybe that comes in handy against the ghost moose. My can is up. G'day, Puck. How are you? This is like the guide that you get to the tutorial. I don't know if he's good or bad or anything in between, but he's my friend for now. How are you? Looking so cool as well. The art style of this game is incredible like the old like steampunk like old school uh, what, what do they call it like the lantern london look i don't even i never know but everyone's dressed to the nines dripping with swagger and i'm all for it how are you Your paco how you doing rules the gusts of fate and this fae you have pleased so the fae are like the magical beings that are uh, we're not ruling the world, but a part of the world. And the humans have basically been wiped out. And I'm one of the last humans left over. Quick, quick little nugget of backstory there. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Okay. That's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Got it. Both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sites of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fay, even longer still. There are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. Formidable enough for one so green. The Antiquarian. All right, first got you. Entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Tell you what, he um takes a little... I mean, I know I talk quickly. I'm aware of this, so no one's going to talk at my level anyway. But tell you what, he's got some gravitas about him, Their but he's taking his sweet time getting through the exposition. Alright, so I've got to go and hit up the Aquarian. Not the Aquarian. Not, not the Aquarian. The Antiquarian. <laughs> I'm not going to go fight a fish, at least I don't think so. Thanks, Knackers. Catch you later. Look at you. 
He knows he's all that. He knows he's, he knows we're all waiting around to hear what he has to say, and he acts like it too. So the antiquarian. I thought that was a. I thought we we're in Pacific Rim, and that was a giant robot transformer thing out there stomping through the greenery. So is that going to be the antiquarian? That's oh, for goodness' sake. I'm going to spend my whole life looking at this game just kind of stopping and propping and staring at the sunsets because how could you not? But I reckon that's going to be the joint i got to get to. I'll grab all of you. I'm also absolutely knackered. Weighed down by three whole kilos. Uh, can, I make, can I make like a box or something? Now I've like claimed the land. Can I chuck down a tub to get rid of some of my pocket space? I'm, I'm struggling a bit. Yeah, here we go. I can make an angling basket. I mean, I was talking about fish, so maybe I can go fishing, but for now, I'm just happy to have something to chuck some shit into. I'm encumbered. Yeah, I know. You can have that one. I'm going to chuck another one right next to you. A couple of bits of storage right off the bat. You, you, nice. Move all items. That goes into that one. That goes into that one. Nice, Gary. I do need to say as well, this is a, like obviously an early access version of the game. Uh, there are some updates that will be coming out before it gets released to the public, which I think at the moment is supposed to be on the 20th of Feb. Um, so like the UI especially is one of the main things. The UI will be slightly different by the time this goes live, but the game itself should be mostly the same. And if it's the same as this, it's dope. It's not going to be much, but it's going to have to do for now. I'm going to make myself a cheeky stick tent up on top of the mountains side up here it's a little bit on the piss but that'll do just there that'll do nicely i'll grab all the reeds and shit that's currently making up my floor out of the way order add resources oh that was another thing that was another thing that they're going to be adding at some point i'm not exactly sure when but wireless crafting every, every survival game needs wireless crafting now because i can't live without it but wireless crafting should be a thing uh down the road a little bit i'll tell you what when that comes out I'm gonna be a happy bloody boy. Are you, are you not done? Why, why are you not done? No, don't collect the sticks. So, like, I need you to be sorted. Get, <laughs> I need you to be fixed. There we go. There, oh, oh, there's a thunderstorm rolling in, but I've got myself some shelter. It's starting to drizzle. That's fine, that's fine. I'll stick both my fingers up at the elements because I have a house. It's not, it's not much, but it's something. Uh, you building, I need a bed roll. Place one of you right on the deck. We're going to go a bit over to the side, over this side, I think. Keep a as much of the, the room as possible for other activities, like a building bunk beds. And there we go, because I'm also tired. I need to have a snooze. Cheeky little nap. Did, did, did that work? It did work. I'm now relaxed. I'm having a cup of tea and a Tim Tim. And looking at this... All right, I, I could get used to this. <laughs> Aside from the walls and the death and the moose, but everything else is great. I'm getting pretty gooey. The rain has soaked all the way through to my gooch, but that's okay. I'm going to keep on trying to push through because there's all these logs out here. I, I could go and cut down the trees myself, but someone's got pissed off at nature before. Really picked a fight with Gaia and made all these mistakes. So I'm going to grab their, the fruits of their unfortunate labor and take it with me. I'm cucumbered. For the first time in my life, I have too much wood. It's a rare treat. My guy's starting to... Oh, is it you? Th oh, <laughs> it's hailing. All right, it's hailing. And I'm out and about in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to get home. This is my fat sack of wood down here that was cucumbering me. I'm going to quickly drop you. Drop about half of that. I'll come back for the rest of you in a moment. Please don't roll off the cliff. Don't, don't, yeah, that, thank you. Nice. I'll be right back. I'll be, I'll be right back. Pottering about with rocks falling out of the sky. Isn't anyone's idea of a good time? I'm going to find some shelter. I'm actually dying. I'm going to die from hail. <laughs> how, how big are the baseballs coming out of the clouds? Would you calm down? So I guess I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait until the hail sun. In fairness, that's a genuine snowstorm, a blizzard of death out there that I'd don't really want to get involved with. Refinement. There's some extra things. Uh, animal, fi animal fiber. Isn't that just muscle? <laughs> okay. Never thought I'd string up a ruin so it was making fabric. But all right. Fair enough then. Uh, that's a word I can't pronounce. Chitinous bone. You're actually pretty close to that one actually. Chitinous hide. Felt leather straps. Simple items. There's like, ooh, simple rock marbles. Is that like to pass the time or something? Campfire. Wow, what? How do I? 
What are you? Simple workbench? Do I have the ability? Oh, I do have the ability to make one of those. Simple tanning station and campfire. Okay, so I'm gonna whack down all of you. Place. I mean, if I can't, if I can't go out and explore and get the rest of my wood while it's pelting down, I may as well make myself a bit of a home over here. So you can go there. That'll do fine. I'm gonna get the other ones as well. Building tanning station. I mean, that needs water and sun, doesn't it? I probably can't put that inside. I, I'm going to assume that I can. Just hope that it works out. I'm going to put you up on this side. And then building a campfire. I know just where to put you. I know just where to put you. Right on the front of my tent over here. So I can cook up breakfast and look out over the hills. I'm going to get hungry pretty soon. So look at the pot so I can craft some things. Some mixed plants. Crit oh my goodness gracious. These are a lot of... I can barely speak English. I can barely speak Australian. You want me to pronounce these things? There's a whole lot of consonants that I don't know what to do with. Cruciferous. Cruciferous vegetables are filled with as much need uh, much needed nutrition. I forgot to say. Are filled with much needed nutrients. Can't read, can't pronounce, can't do anything to do with talking. Perhaps less fanciful than a cooked meal. This just requires minimal effort but offers many health benefits. Well, I've got steak and I feel like that might be a better option for me right now. I don't have any twigs though. Hold on a second. I just need a couple of bits of fuel. You can come with me. I still need to go and get the rest of the planks left down the hill a little bit, but I'll get that in a moment. Order fill you. Manage fuel. Order fill that one as well. Get your cooking. Hang on. Does that. Does that not count as being. Is, like, is it not undercover so I can't ignite it? Craft items. Roast meat. Yeah, you. You. Ignite. Ignite, ignite, ignite. No, I, I can't think I did bad. It's rain, It's raining, so I can't light the fire. I'm going to have to move that a little bit inside. Can I Can I do that at all, actually? Building. Oh, there's a button for this, isn't there? No, not that one. B, maybe? B for building? Now, yeah, what do the buttons do? Maybe I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way and beat it to death. Yeah, there we go. It's health's going down. One more. Catch you later. I'll pick up the rocks. I don't think I got all of them back, but that's the price you pay for being a galam. You place. I mean, look, it might burn my house down a little bit, but I'm going to put it. Oh, I'll put it over here. I'll put it over there on the other side so it'll accidentally walk into it at some points. What's with the green lines? I, I don't know what the. Oh, it's linking to the bed. So it's got to be. <gasps> right, with the campfire going. It's going to keep me warm. At least that's what I'm assuming. Assumption back an ass out of you and me. I'm going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Add some stuff to you and you get some more pebbles for you. I didn't notice that the first time. Turns out opening your eyes once in a while is a good idea. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Literally. Craft you. You can only make one at a time. They did say that a, um, a crafting queue would be a thing in the future. I'm going to make some more. You. Autofill. Craft up that. And the way you cook it almost instantaneously, so it's not actually too bad. Can't make any more of you. Auto fill that one. Couple of mushies. Craft up you as well. Look at that. We've got snacks. Nope, that's the wrong one. There you go. Put it in your face. Lovely. So is this what the essence is about? There's essence traders. What are essence traders? Essence traders can be found in most realms and offer schematics, resources, and consumables in exchange for essences. Nice. Okay. Uh, realm walkers, I'm a realm walker, can purchase uh, schematics from essence traders to boost their repertoire of craftable structures and equipments. Interesting. Uh, realm walkers may use the guidebook to view items available in various essence traders within the realms. So is that going to be like different realms, like different like biomes and stuff? Different areas will have different traders who have different gubs? That seems to make sense in my mind, though not a lot of things do. Essence traders will also be marked on the map if available. So purchase an item, select it, and push the buy push the buy button. Thank you. Uh, if you have the required essence, it will be deducted from your inventory, and the purchased items will be granted to you. Nice. Okay. Cheers for that, lad. Look at him. <laughs> he's just he's just all of that. I'm still off to go try uh, find the rest of my logs down the hill a little bit, but every couple of steps I take and every move I make, old mate's watching me. 
The sun's come out and it's all looking bloody lovely out there, but I've got my workbench up and going. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of like traits and like buffs and debuffs that you can get, which is what the campfire, the little green line was talking about. Um, having the bedroll in like a warm, dry place will give you like a buff as opposed to having it out and about in an unsheltered area, which will give you a debuff. So there's also things you can build like a workbench around buildings to give you different buffs and things. It sounds like it's going to be a lot to learn. So instead of learning that i'm gonna see what i can build myself like a sling bow every survival game in the world needs a bow and arrow and a stone axe i've got the stone axe now to see the bow what do you need a wood bundle and straps uh okay i assume straps are gonna be leather made in the tanning bench i wish i could like could, could i can I, like dig up the ground at all can i get like my scythe out can't do anything with you with my pickaxe i just like just just get rid of some of the grass. Someone lend me their lawnmower. Yeah, here we go. So straps. I can make leather felt and straps uh, auto-fill you with just T1 Predator hide. So craft you. F R F R F R. Just keep on matching that and make all the things that I need. What about leather then? So leather takes the same thing. I might even make some of that while I'm here. Though I do have quite a bit of leather already. Is, ooh, okay. I was gonna say, can I just like, keep on tapping R then, just to keep on crafting? I wish, like, can I hold F even? I wish there was a way just to like make it easy, like instantaneously fill it up. If I click it over here, I clearly want to make it. So I think actually, because things are crafting so bloody quickly at the moment, it's supposed to take 40 seconds to make leather, but it's all going super bloody quick. And it might just be because it's in the early access phase, so they might actually have some time to it when uh, things happen later on. I'll extinguish you for now, because we're not going to set a bushfire off today. Nice. Okay, so now that I have the straps, go to you. I need a wood bundle. I should have... Yeah, I'll was, I was grab all of that. That'll do. I'm encumbered, but I'm just going to slide myself three inches. You, slingbow, autofill. Takes one second. Craft you. Nice. So what, what can I do with you then? Do you need... Oh, you've even got sights on you? All right then. <laughs> all right there, champ. I was expecting a notch in the wood. Not like a proper peep sight. That's sick. I've got all the ingredients I need for basically everything. I'll take the wood axe... First, craft up you. I'll take the mining pick second. Ooh. So, what? Hang on, hang on a second. That was like doing all like fancy things. Did I, did I actually get the axe? I did. Simple wood axe, which means you. Makeshift wood axe can be unequipped. Can I like... I can just drop you. I, I can extract five essence from you. Five dollar redos for tearing apart some twigs. That works for me. I'll do the same with you then. Extract that one and also that one. Given given what I know is out there now, I feel like having a, a better knife is a pretty good shout. You, mining pick, autofill, craft up that. I like that. I like that a lot. It's fun. I may have, uh, <laughs> I may have disassembled my knife a little bit early because I don't have any weapon now to go and get myself some more hide to get the straps that I need to make the weapon. Not clever. Not super clever. I do have my bow, though. Can I craft arrows for, like, through here? Simple items, refinements, cooking crude items. I, I need, like, an arrow, right? How do, what, what, what do you... What do you need for me to make an arrow? I just need a stick. Just load a stick into it and start shooting things. <laughs> Anything's better than nothing. Oh, look at all this stuff, though. So I can... Okay, so what? I've got... That's a crude flat roof. Is it like a foundation I can build? Here we go. Stone foundation, crude foundation. Let's go stone because we're classy boys up on this mountain up here. Okay, I might have to... I might have to get rid of my little tent here at some point. I've built it all in prime posy. Uh, I don't I have some stones to it, though. I don't want it to go too far into the ground. I'm going to go, like, you for now. And then you there. And then you them. I like that I can just kind of place... I can just kind of place the foundations now and not have to worry about it. I can just, like, build it all later. That'll work nicely. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. We're gonna build ourselves a home. The sun's gone down and it's getting real bloody dark. I'm actually gonna take back. Hold E to more op for options. Copy. 
deconstruct. I wrote some inventory. Okay, so I'm gonna deconstruct you and deconstruct you. <laughs> I've learned my lesson from being me for so long that I know that I go way too big, way too early. I'm not gonna have the means to make all of that immediately and just get distracted by it. All right, can I go to sleep? You get your lits, have a little sleep. Have a long sleep all the way through the morning, please. There we go. That works for me. Extinguish the fire again. Rise and shine, everybody. Good morning, g'day, and how I am. What's the good word? I like that. I like that a lot. It's like, oh, what game was it? I've been a lot of games at the time, but there's one of the worst things in my mind. It's clearly so that I've already forgotten what it was called, but so you don't like just like immediately cut down the tree like you take chunks out of the tree and you get rid of the stump as well. What what game? Is it Stranded Deep? I think I'm thinking of. I can't remember now, but either way, it's not going to be Nightingale that I think of all the time. Take all of my shit back to my house again. I've got, I'm full of wood. I'm full of stones. I'm full of all the resources. It's just, I'm having a good time. I'm having a really bloody good time with this. And just like that, I have a foundation ready for my little home to be built up on top of. I kind of want to go... I mean, my house is in the way. Do you reckon I... Hang on a second. If I... Am I maybe I should build the rest of this first before I start destroying my one bit of shelter. Just in case the gods start pissing on my forehead again. You... Crude door frames. The foundations are done. I can make a circular window. Oh, actually, you know what this needs? You know what this- You know what every place I ever build needs? It's, it's the law. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I just live by them. I also make them too, but don't ask me too seriously about that. I need a balcony. Is there somebody I can make a balcony? You're a roof. You're a floor. So is it the floor I need or the roof that I need? I need something just to like stick out the side of you. The more I look at that big thing on the horizon over there, the more I think it's gonna be a giant robot. Like it's also guarding the antiquarian. <laughs> I think that's what it was called, I've already forgotten. I, it's gotta be. Look at it, it's like holding its cannon up to the sky. I've seen like actual mechs in games that look less like a mech in a game. You, there's some more stone for that one. I couldn't build a proper balcony. I couldn't get like a bit of plank to stick out the side. So instead, that's just gonna be my balcony here. That's gonna be it there. This is gonna be my house. So I'm just gonna build a couple of walls up along the side of it. I love building in games so much. I love it so much. It's given me plenty of opportunities to place you. I'm gonna put you right in the middle. Perfect. Is there a way to easily get back into like my structural components? Right click is exit, adjust height, rotate, confirm. No, so you're gonna go like all the way back into you. Surely gonna get the, the, the hub lots. Definitely saying that wrong. Definitely gonna get the window going. You place in like that, and then in like that. Shit, I missed it, that's fine. That's all right, windows everywhere. Everyone needs windows. So something really good and really interesting about how the building works in this. I didn't really notice that the first one happened. It happened, I was like, did I see what I think I saw? But it turns out I definitely did. So all these blueprints are all connected, right? So instead of having to go through and build each individual piece, I can just go, I can look at any of them and go here. I need 33 stone blocks in total. I have 30, so I'm missing a couple. Of, but look, like it, okay, if it's all connected by a blueprint, it'll just build all of it. My stairs are done, so I need a couple more for you, and we're all right as rain. That's so much better. Being able to like insta build so much, like build it all up in blueprints and just chuck your resources at it, that's bloody wicked. I'm a big fan, big fan of that. I should have most of what I need now so I can start getting rid of my stick tent. <laughs> Sorry, stick tent. It's all gone. Catch you later. I'm gonna have to also break apart all of this. Which was a way, but if there is a way, I just don't know about it. Hopefully there is, just to like pick up Pick up that stuff. Don't have to actually break it down. Just move it out of the way. You're gonna need to go as well. I'm gonna move it all up into my brand new base anyway. Take all of that. Thank you. Need to build some more foundations. Go that one and that one. And look at that. What a kick-ass little house we're gonna have for ourselves. It's gonna be so good. This should be, I think, the final touches to get it all up and cracking. So, boop. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had more. I thought I had more pebbles than I did, but now nah, the roof still isn't quite up there and I've destroyed, I've destroyed my house. <laughs> 
Well, what did I say? Remember at the start, I was like, look, I'm not going to do this because I'll get distracted and carried away building stuff and neglect all of the things I'm supposed to do. And now look what I'm doing. The game gives me any ability to build something and I'm immediately off with the building fairies. Oh, there's a wolf den. There's a wolf den and I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a knife. Can I... Oh, can I sneak up on it with an axe? I mean, hey, if Chicken Run taught me anything, it's that a woodcut and axe can be a serious weapon if things stop laying eggs. Why, why, why don't I have a bow? Well, I do have a bow. Why can't I, why can't I use an arrow? What do you... What do you want? How do I... How do I get an arrow for you? I will have thought making the bow would be the hard part. I got so distracted by building my house, I forgot about the whole arrow problem. And they're like four feet away from my house as well. All right, that's, that's the next issue. I'll grab all the rocks that I can, finish off the roof of my house and figure out how to make an arrow or something. I've got the bow there. I want to use it. I haven't really shown off this at all yet. It's one of the, like, the integral parts of Nightingale is the umbrella, the cheeky brolly. You can float around like Mary Poppins. Does that mean I... Oh, uh, until you <laughs> very rapidly suddenly remember you're not Mary Poppins and fall into a pain with a couple of penguins. Grab you. That's the last couple of stones that I need. There's also deer and stuff around as well. I'm getting pretty snacky. Wouldn't mind bringing one of you home for dinner. Invite your friends if you want to too, but not sure how they'll feel about it. I mean, yeah, look. It's like... <laughs> It's hard to argue that that's not gorgeous. The sun shining. I've got my house up and going. I can even like come in and show you guys inside. It's just, it's just what a place to be. What a place for your morning cup of coffee. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Even, even with my howling neighbors, they're a little bit loud, a little bit rowdy, a little bit barky and stuff as well. The postman hates coming to my house, but I mean, look at this stuff. Look at it. I'm having. I'm having a good time. I just, I don't know. This game's just, it's just making me happy. It's just making me smile. I'm having a good time. My axe has seen some real better days and I don't really know how to fix it. Can I, I'm going to second go like you. I mean, there's a repair all button here, but repair all costs 46. What, 46 watts? What, what would, what, what? What would you like, to, what would you like 46 of? I mean, I have some things over here. I'm gonna go take all the items out of you. Take all the items out of you. I do have, I thought I had some essence around here somewhere. Do I, do I need essence to repair things? That's still, that's still not working. What, what did I, what did I do with it? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put all of you back again. <laughs> oh, well, my ax is about to break and I really need to go and take care of those wolves down the hill. How do I make arrows though? I would have thought I would have found that out by now. Sling bow, yeah, that's that's all that's all bloody great and stuff, but what do you what do you need to fire out of? Well, it's starting to rain, and well, I just don't have time to figure out what's going on with my arrows and stuff. So instead, I'm gonna make some really bad decisions and go and sneak up on this wolf and lodge my axe directly in its back like I'm in a bloody fairy tale. G'day, <laughs> call me Robin Hood, am I? Or rather the Huntsman. Oh my goodness, that did so much damage too. But I can't dodge. I can't dodge this thing. Hurt. Just get amongst it. My item is breaking, but the item is the wolf's bloody spine. Get the Incium. Oh, hey, dodge well. Gone. Comp that right in the snoot. I boobed the snoot with aggression. One more to do. That was way better than using the knife. What was I? Oh, fuck. What was I worried about? Hang on. I didn't. Can I make can I make a shitty knife to harvest the dogs to make a better knife, please? Um, basics and repair, estate resting, survival. I, oh, for goodness sake! I, <laughs> oh god! Uh oh, the moose ghost is back. Um, are you are are you like the Grim Reaper? Are you coming to get the souls of the dogs, or do you just mysteriously show up every time in the battle? I really don't want to deal with you. I, I really bloody do not. Okay, how do I? How do I make myself a knife? I did it a second ago. I've already forgotten. Here, you. Sticks, plant fiber, rocks. But like, actually? <gasps> you revived them. You revived them! Oh, no! 
Hey, you're just a fucking asshole, aren't you? I went through all that effort, all that hard yakka to try and get some bones and pelts and stuff like that. You came over, gave him a moosey lick and brought him back to life. Fucking dickhead, I'm doing all my hard work. All right, well, you big elk bastard, you can trot on off somewhere else. So I'm going to do the same thing all over again. Pick a fight, but this time I do have that crude knife to, uh, to harvest you up after you're done. You're gone. Moose ghost isn't coming back. Okay, real quick, real quick. Number three, please. Harvest you. Stab. Stab. Ooh, it's goo. What's the goo? What's the goo give me? Essence, meat of the predator, some bones and things. Ow, oh, it's hailing. It's hailing again. Hang on, I need, a, I need to find some shelter or something. The wolves were guarding someone's luggage. I'll collect you. Can't take the candles. I'm taking everything. I'm taking everything I can before I piss off the bloody deities of the world again. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt a lot. The hail's hurting an awful bloody lot. Just run home. Run home. Back to where the stones will protect us. So that's really interesting. I, re I, I didn't put two and two together when the ghost moose showed up the first time, but now we know he will revive any animals that I kill. So maybe, maybe I just got to be quicker. I'm sorry, what? I'm inside. What do you mean? Uh oh, uh oh, um, um, shit. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do. Build real quick, build real quick. Uh, You, sure, place that just like there will do. Yeah, that'll do. I need sticks. I need sticks. I need sticks. Um, you come with me. You come with me. Whatever's gonna fuck it. Oh shit, it's too many. That's too many. You drop that one. No! I was inside the building! <laughs> Remember when I broke down my tent and I was like, nah, she'll be right, man. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I don't have any friends to come and revive me either. Where the shit are you gonna spawn me? Where the shit are you gonna spawn? I died from hail inside a building. That's that's a level of muppetry even I shouldn't aspire to. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again unless I can get in to it <laughs> into my stick tent. Right, so I don't know. Did I build that wrong or something? I don't know why that's not working for me. Quickly get some food in your gold to try and make yourself feel better again. All right, there, there must just be like kind of glitched out at the moment. It just, I mean, it's clearly supposed to keep me safe, but it just doesn't. I just went and checked and the hail through the ceiling is a known bug. So that will be fixed by the time this comes out. It looks like it's just raining now as opposed to being, but it's not hailing anymore. So hopefully I'll be all right. Uh, Puck did show up for a moment there, didn't he? Although he's not around anymore. All right, fair enough then. I need to figure out what I can do to fix that. If there is a way to fix it at all. Put all the stuff back in my boxes as well. I keep hearing noises. I keep hearing noises and panicking. <laughs> I mean, it also sucks as well because it means my fire can't get lit. Damn. I still need to make my better knife. I need some hide to make the straps with. So I'm going back into the wolf's den. No sign of any ghostly moose. There's this though. What are you? Some roasted meat. Oh, delicious. Thank you very much. Some cheeky snacks out and about. There are the wolves. All right. Nice, short, fast, and sweet before the moose shows up. Blacks. Oh, some, some sandstone. All right. I'll take you. Someone's been doing mining. No, I'm going to mine you. Item is breaking. I'm aware the item is breaking. I don't really have a choice about it, though. I can't repair it just yet. Yeah, look. Things are taking their time to craft now. So it must have just been like something at the very start, like to kind of get me sorted. But now it's definitely taking its time. 10 seconds to craft each of the straps. That's what all the sparkling things were before. Okay, I don't actually have to stand there and do it either. Does it, for, uh, does it for me? Collect the items. Nice, guys. All right, now with you, I can make a better hunting knife. There's some wood and some stone blocks. Got plenty of that around. Just gonna find where I put them. This is why wireless crafting is so good. I have my better knife, which is bloody lovely. I still can't repair you. I've used all my essence. In fact, yeah, it does. So that's what the cost is in. So I need 41 essence to be able to repair everything. So I might need to go and just find a bunch of resources that I can tear apart. In fact, what are you going to... You're going to be 32 essence. Right? You come with me. You're going to be 6, 31. I can get sticks and logs anywhere. So that's going to sacrifice I'm willing to make. Extract you. And extract you. That's going to give me 63. Repair all. My axe is now good and uh, ready to go again. Nice. That's good. I like that you can, like, 
if you know what you're doing, if you know that's what you need, you can just go through and get it all without too much of a problem. But with that, guys, I reckon I'm going to leave this episode here because I just looked over and I've been going for almost two hours. <laughs> I've significantly lost track of time. I'm sorry, Charlie Murphy. I was having too much fun. There's so much more to go. I've barely even scratched the surface. Yeah, I have a house and I've fought a bunch of wolves and seen a ghost moose, but there's still robots and buildings and pyramids to go. Lots to do, lots to explore, and I am ready to rock and roll. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to follow me in Nightingale. I'm so excited to be able to bring it all to you guys as well. Once again, a massive thank you to Inflection Games for giving me access early so I could film these ahead of time before the release. So these issues I'm having uh, will probably be fixed by then. For example, the roof not working. We're about to actually just go restart the game and see if that has already been patched, given that it's a, a bug that they've discovered since I started playing. So I'll restart the game, get that fixed, and continue my adventure into the utterly gorgeous world of Nightingale in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.